Hey everybody, this is Mr. Flores from the Minecraft server one moreblock.com and I'll put the IP to that in the description as well as a link to this plugin CMI. All right, this video is about CMI and making some custom items. I've noticed that quite a few people feel a little bit overwhelmed making some cool items for their players to give away in kits or as a reward in a crate or as a vote reward or whatever. Uh, this video is going to show you how to use the uh, commands from CMI to set the title, the lore, custom model data, using hex colors, as well as applying some cool effects to, for example, armor. Um, let's just get started and make something, okay? And you can make your own items, just have to think about what is possible with the plugin and how can I achieve this? So, for example, uh, let's make a pickaxe that we call item name that is gold and says my super breaker pickaxe. Okay, so now we have hex colors on the name and add a lore to it on the second line that is orange and bold that says always break instantly and of course you can check out how to customize this and what colors you want to use by going to the crips.net website where under the cmi drop down menu you can click on hex colors but cmi item name and item lore allow you to change this stuff so you can also um, <clears throat> do this um yeah it's super fast all right so there you go yeah you can control what goes where um for the effect to take actual effect it's a bit silly to use it on a pickaxe because we could just set the efficiency a lot higher but it's a demonstration okay so let's do an enchantment of unbreaking four <laughs> and we are also going to make this efficiency five for example and we want to hide that data so it doesn't show with the enchantments on it so it's more of a custom item cmi hide the flex for the enchantments there we go they are now gone but we have a glowing item if we would rtp somewhere and find deep the slate which is tougher than regular stuff making it tougher to mine and i will demonstrate this as well Go into survival, make sure I'm in God mode for the purpose of the video and we can't see anything. So I'm gonna set my effect for night vision to some ridiculous high amounts and give um, netherite pickaxe. Oh, where is it? Oh yeah, <clears throat> okay, so let's mine normally. See, it's a bit slower than regular stone. But also, now that we have efficiency 5, it goes faster, but it still feels slow. It doesn't have that super breaker effect from MCMMO, right? That kind of goes like this. But what if you don't have MCMMO and you want to make more out of this? Now, let's make a super breaker pickaxe effect so let's say um give diamond leggings and we're gonna use cmi armor effect uh fast digging seven okay so this is still going okay okay but now when we wear this we have haste on top of it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not fast. Let's try something else then. 
I think I did this wrong. There we go. And we want it to be done correctly. There we go. Watch this. Wait a minute. Why is it still slow? Why is it still slow? All right, we have to investigate what we're doing here. Let's uh, let's make it uh, 12 and I have to wear it. There we go. That'll do the trick. And then when we take it off, haste goes away and it's slow again. That is interesting. So when we have this pickaxe and we have our special pants, then we can have an infinite super breaker. That is a fun combination. And now we also know how to debug this stuff. <laughs> Okay, so let's do something else. Let's say we also want to do night vision uh, 2 or something and also not show that visually. Okay, CMI effect clear. Now let's put the pants on and I have night vision. No night vision, and I have night vision. Does this still work? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now I have some cool effects when I have my custom item with my pants. <laughs> I can also use the other pickaxe, of course. But then I don't have the benefit from my custom pickaxe. So, um, well, I can keep wearing this now. We can also set the data, the custom model data for the item to some number. And then if we check the list, then we can see that it has this number. So if you have a resource pack, you can have a custom item show in a different way as well. Okay. Um, CMI. Uh, unbreakable CMI and chant uh, blast protection 5 CMI hide the flags CMI item name red to super breaker mining pants <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go uh, let's go to gold to here Okay, perfect. I wear it, I got my night vision back and I can go super breaker. Okay, that is pretty nifty. Let's make something else. Unhide, see my uh, effects clear. Let's go to the top and I see water over there. Uh, it's not a lot, that's not a lot of water. Let's go find that's also not a lot of water. Where's an ocean? Here we go. Let's go diving. How fast can we swim? Um, unhide survival. Now yeah, we're going uh, a certain speed. And our air is getting quite low. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to die. How awesome would it be? if we would have aquatic wings. So let's make them. Okay, unhide. Let's get an elytra. Let's do it all again. See my item name, not Tempen, item name. Um, item name, orange. Aquatic wings. See my item lore, five, whatever. Uh, pink i hope that's the right color um swim with style or something i don't know <laughs> there we go cmi and chant on breaking two and i can hide the flags again if i want 
CMI item sem day data. Let's give it some random number for the resource pack. And now armor effect. Uh, Dol oh, dolphin grace um, two, I guess, and no furble. And then um, let's see. I don't know what the other one was. I think it was like water breathing. Dun 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 dun. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Night fishing might be handy. Um, here, water breathing. Okay, water breathing. Uh, four for all I know or three it's fine and then we don't need to verbose that either I think this might do the trick I think that's it okay so let's jump in the water again check our inventory oh uh, unhide survival that's why all right our hearts are going down I'm going a certain speed and now let's wear the wings. Look at that. I speed up. I got cool wings on. And my water bubbles, my air bubbles don't go down. I can use my aquatic wings to swim in water a lot better. And there's a dolphin actually. How about that? Come on, let's swim. Woo! All right. Pretty cool. I think this is pretty, pretty nifty. Okay, let's go stand somewhere. Right, will we see the armor stuff? I don't think so, but let's have a look at what we can find out. See my item info will show us the name, the material, the display name and the lore, the enchants on it, durability, the max stack size, and the same for the pickaxe. If there are more than one enchant on it, it will show them both. Pretty nice. There is also much more complex item NBT, which shows you the exact string for all of this stuff custom model data included but do you spot all the secret stuff no the armor entity stuff is not on there but it can get pretty complex i'm happy that for debugging reasons we have all this info by the way that's not all you can do you can also use um, for example, custom sticks, item name, red, my tree stick. Okay. And then see my item lore. Orange, you can place trees where you point. Um, and like pff, number two. Hold on. Yes, it's a long video, I know. And there's a limit of five times. Okay, see my attach command, limited use five. Okay, see my attach command. Let's add S console, so we don't need the perm to worry about the perms. See my three birds. Uh, for player name okay CMI enchant channeling one CMI hide flex I like to do this for custom items all right in 30 seconds we threw a tree stick that people can use five times the counter shows with a custom lore that explains how to use this so so let's go here and go in survival mode and see if this works. I'm pointing here. I got a tree. Perfect. How far does it go? Let's go and point over there. That works too. Item use is free. Yep. One, two, three. And the item disappears. How cool is that? Your builders are going to love this. So custom items with CMI kind of easy to do you got to think a little bit about what is technically possible 
how does it work in vanilla can i use it as an effect on armor or maybe as a command on a tool uh, can i hide the flags do i want to hide the attributes or things like that what's the syntax for these commands can i put it all together and then use uh, the cmi kit to give it to players or whatever applies to your situation and this is perfect for events like Halloween or crates, if, um, like a drop party, maybe as a reward for PvP fights in an arena or for a TNT run game. Um, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, there's all sorts of stuff. And I think that is pretty nifty. You will have specific wishes and run into... Um, I should probably clean this up, by the way. <laughs> and run into all sorts of limitations but that is okay because sometimes there are answers to it so and sometimes it's just a suggestion on the website and then uh, crips might consider including it for the next build so join the discord for crips and hang out in the cmi channel after picking a role and then i will see you online showing off all your cool items if you want to know what kind of items we use, we already have a few. For example, when people fold, we have these things, right? Can you tell the difference between like a custom item and a real item? This is a tier two fold item that people get when they exchange fold tokens. And the fold tokens are looking like this. See my kid votes side five. They get the token like this. Very cool. And if they have 64 of those, they can exchange it for one of these cool items. And players love this sort of stuff. It provokes them to vote. It provokes them to use crates or to buy a rank or whatever. And all you have to do is just set a name, set, an, uh, set some lores, maybe custom model data for your resource pack. Um, you can use effects on it uh, via a test command. You can use armor effects on the armor so they can have fast digging when they wear the, the dwarf suit or something like that. Or if, they, um, uh, if you want to do something fun like levitation, then... You can make like a levitation suit that slowly lifts them up and then they can take it off to fall down again. You can do all sorts of stuff and it's uh, it, it's all under CMI. There's a lot you can do here and you can stack commands as well. So you can um, like make a, an attached command item like the stick that says trying to place a tree or some placeholder info or maybe that it opens a book with information custom item making just think about it a little bit and um, yeah you can really extend your server by just using some cmi commands on some items i think that is pretty nifty without installing like a million other plugins that don't talk to each other at least this all works together because it's from the same plugin anyway i hope this information helps you create your own custom items let me know in the comments if you have any ideas of what would be cool to use uh, we're going to make a dolphin wings or aquatic wings with dolphin grace on it as a faux tier item so players can have that and actually use it on our server and we're gonna go through a few more of these um yeah that's it thank you for watching these videos don't forget to like it and maybe share it with a friend there are more cmi videos in my cmi playlist so check those out if you want to learn how to enhance your server with cmi all right i'm rambling as usual thank you for watching i hope just a practical video showing how to do this even when things go wrong and um, checking out how commands work and whatever helps you progress and do more with the plugin. Okay, end of the ramble, top right, subscribe, top left, another video you can click on. Bye. Toodoo, toodoo, the end card is here. I don't know what I'm doing.